Good day, YouTubers and students. Thank you for clicking on this link today. Um, today, I'm going to talk about finding the future value of $1 using Microsoft Excel. Now, as you can see in this video, I have opened Excel for Macintosh. Uh, PC users do not fret. As the video progresses, I will tell you of the differences in the PC version uh, that you cannot see directly on your screen because I have opened the Mac version. Uh, for the f purposes of finding the future value of a dollar, these differences are few and far in between and they are minor. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see on your screen, I have some givens here. I have in per, IY, PV, PMT, and FV. Now what are these, what are these items? Well, let's go through them one at a time. In per, which literally stands for the number of periods. Um, these periods can be annual periods, semi-annual, quarterly, monthly, and some even are daily. Uh, but for the purposes of this, let's, let's say that it's annual. Uh, so we have five here. So what does that mean? Five years, five annual periods. Next is IY, uh, interest rate slash yield. Uh, this is the return on your investment that you're going to get. In this case, it is 10%. Um, the PV I have here at, let's go ahead and change, I'm sorry, let's change the 10 to 10%. Alrighty, uh, PV present value. The present value I have here is negative 4,000. Now, quick caveat, why is this negative? It's negative, think of it in terms of accounting. It's negative because it's a cash outflow. We are investing the $4,000 for five years at 10% to get our future value. Now, let's move forward. Uh, payment, zero payment. Uh, this payment is a is the term used for an annuity in other words a payment that happens uh, at each period so if this is five uh, five annual periods this payment would be five uh, annual payments uh, now don't get confused this payment could refer to a semi-annual payment a monthly payment or um, or, or a quarterly payment Finally, we have FV. This is what we're going to solve for. Uh, FV, future value. So let's go ahead and solve for that. I'm going to put my cursor right on here, right on this cell, because I'm going to insert whatever the FV is for these givens right here. Now, here's where it gets different between Mac and PC. Mac users, go ahead and click on Insert um, Formula. Now PC users actually have, well I'm sorry, let's back up really quick. Um, this is your home screen here. Uh, both Mac and PC users click on formulas, the formulas tab. PC users should have uh, a financial button somewhere in this region. Go ahead and click on that. Mac users, you have one more step. Mac users, click on insert function go scroll down to financial now here's where we meet up with our PC users PC users once you click on financial you should see all of these different options now we're gonna click on what we would like to figure out which is FV click on FV boom now um, again here's a here's another difference PC users should have automatically popped up a formula wizard Mac users is one more step. Click on Formula Builder right here. All right. Now that we have the Formula Builder, let's scroll down for our arguments. Now for our rate, uh, what's our rate? It's another word for IY. So you could click on, boom, 10%. Notice here that's got B3 um, and it's 0.1, which is 10%. Now for our N per, our in per is five, so let's click on the five. Boom, good, five. Our payment, what's our payment? Well, payment's gonna stay at zero, so 
there's that. What's our PV? Our PV is right there at negative 4,000. Click there. Now let's, let's talk a minute about type. Type refers to when the payment is made. Uh, since this is not an annuity, uh, which this is not a future value of an annuity, this is a future value of a dollar. So in this particular instance, this the type here doesn't matter. You can put a zero or a one, it doesn't matter. But for future reference, you can type in a zero here, uh, which stands for, if you look up here, stands for the payment is made at the end of the period. Now if the payment is made at the beginning of the period, type a one in. Um, this takes, uh, this reflects the time value of money difference between annu regular annuities and annuities due. But again, for this particular problem, uh, we can just leave it empty. Once we have all, that, we'll ha have all of our information here, we can click enter. Now let's pause for a brief minute here. Notice that I clicked the cells for each one of these boxes. This, this is a good way to program in um, the cell locations in Excel so that in the future uh, for a different problem you can enter in different givens without having to go through this whole rigmarole again. Um, certain videos in YouTube, not naming any names, uh, enter in the raw numbers in these fields. That's a no-no. Do not do that. Um, but anyway, let's move forward. So I have all of my given cells here. Now I'm going to click enter. Boom. All right, let's slide the formula builder out of the way for the time being. And let's focus. So in English, what does this mean? Let's see here. In English, this means if I invest $4,000 today over five years with 10% interest per year, I'm going to get back $6,442.04. Okay, does everyone see that? Again, if I invest $4,000 today, and it's negative because it's a cash outflow, in five years at 10% interest, not adding any more money to the pot, I'm going to get just under $6,500. Now, Remember when in our formula builder here we clicked on the cells? That's important because watch this. Let's say instead of 10%, let's say we made 7%. I'm going to click 7%, click enter, and look, it automatically goes down. The future value goes down. I can, I can change my number of periods. Let's say I invest it for 10 years. Okay? Future value goes up. Again, I can play with these givens all I want because in my formula builder, I clicked on the cells in which the, which the number was correlated with for my givens. So I don't have to go through and go through this whole building formulas thing at each different problem. Um, Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much.